dear students in the last class we have seen crop leather interaction for sunflower and mustard in this class we will like to see genesis of weather forecast in india and abroad historically the science meteorology in india was written in several ancient text namely upanishad which was written around 3000 bc which provides the information such as formation of a cloud rain as well as the seasonal changes as caused by the movement of earth around the sun second one is the bhaga samhita written around 500 ad by varaga migrar that provides the knowledge on the atmospheric process and the third one is the kaudalyas arthashastra that contains the records of a scientific measurement of a rainfall which can be used for the country revenue as well as relief operation and the fourth one is the kalidasa who has written the magadhut which contains the informations related to prediction of onset of monsoon in central india and also it predict the traces the path of the monsoon clouds let you go to the uh, scientific meteorology development the scientific meteorology began in europe between 15th and 16th century with the invention of a barometer hygrometer thermometer as well as the wind measuring instruments similarly in india the meteorological observatory was established by the british east india company in calcutta during 1785 and in madras now it is called chennai during 1796 to study the weather and climate which is one of the oldest observatory in the world followed by they also established the asiatic society of bengal was initially founded at calcutta in the year 1784 by sir john williams and also the another places the asiatic society was also established at bombay in the year 1804 to promote the scientific studies related to meteorology let you see the establishment of the india meteorological department a severe cyclone struck calcutta in the year 1864 and this was followed by the failure of monsoon rains in the year 1866 and 1871 in the year 1875 the india meteorological department was established to bring all the meteorological work in the country under a central authority after the establishment mr h f blanford was appointed as a meteorological reporter to the government of india followed by sir john eliot was also appointed as a director general of the observatories in may 1889 at uh, calcutta headquarters later this headquarters was shifted to shimla then uh, to pune now it is called uh, pune and finally placed at uh, new delhi let us see the improvement in the weather forecasting system mr h f blanford who initiated the system called uh, long range forecasting to predict the monsoon seasonal rainfall later the long range forecasting system was continuously improved by the eminent scientist called uh, sir john eliot as well as sir gilbert walker both of them are uh, the director general of the observatories sir gilbert walker an eminent uh, mathematician who appointed as a director general of the imd he identified the phenomena of uh, linking monsoon with uh, world global meteorological situations and discovered the phenomena of a southern oscillation which was later called as the el nino let we see the the development of the weather services the first weather service namely farmers weather bulletin was issued by the india meteorological department in association with all india radio on daily basis and broadcasted in 26 regional languages 
the main limitation of the forecast issued for a large scale and does not meet the requirement of a crop cultural operations at a local level. There was no advisory also given to the crop planning as well as the agricultural operations. To overcome this problem, IMD has introduced agricultural meteorological advisory service to prepare a special weather charts on weekly and monthly and seasonal basis. Likewise, they developed a bulletin called agrometeorological advisory bulletin was issued for a week or twice a week. There is a another bulletin is called a tentative crop outlook which provides the information such as what is the crop stage in the country that will be uh, issued to the crop planners or agriculture planners as well as for the policy planners to know the status of the agriculture situation in India. Likewise, the crop yield forecast was also issued by the drought research unit of uh, IMD based on the statistical empirical formulae for uh, rice and uh, wheat growing area. Let us see the current activity of uh, IMD related to our subject. First one is the National Center for Medium Range of Forecasting was established by the India Meteorological Department at uh, New Delhi to provide the medium range weather forecast for 5 days period. Initially it was developed with the uh, agroclimatic zone resolution level. Later it was forecasted to district resolution level on 5 days basis. The second one is the numerical weather prediction is being used to generate the medium range weather forecast using a global forecast system at a 35 kilometer resolution level. The third one is the now casting is being used by the IMD to provide the very short duration forecasting within a period of uh, 6 hours using a Doppler weather radar observations. It is first time it is in implemented in uh, New Delhi during uh, Commonwealth Games in the year 2010. The fourth one is the radar meteorology which also uh, used the same uh, Doppler weather radar to provide the uh, weather forecasting system for uh, meteorological, hydrological as well as the aviation. It is useful for the forecasters to locate the uh, storm center and uh, predicting its uh, future path. The fifth one is the monsoon monitoring and uh, forecasting issued by the IMD to provide the uh, forecasting information on the onset of uh, monsoon in uh, pre and uh, early monsoon periods. This is about the, the genesis of weather forecast in India and abroad. In the next class, we will see the types of weather forecast information. Thank you.